Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more Patron in Gimliesburg. Something I want to do, like first thing this video, if we can get a little bit more money together, is get this essential budgeting decree up and a running. I really do think reducing the upkeep of everything is just going to be huge. I mean, it's, it's it, across the board, it's like an increase in my economy. We love that. Um, we could start selling off some excess uh, luxury goods, and we do have a fair bit to work with, so we're going to go ahead and sell... A chunk of, let's say, some clothing and maybe a chunk of uh, furniture. I can actually sell like 80 of each, and I feel very comfortable with that. That's 432 more gold. The Doinkus will pick that up, and now we can go for the essential budgeting. Mushroom farms is another way of getting some food. It can be placed on very limited space. Kind of like the idea behind that. Getting a clay pit wouldn't be half bad. But one thing I think that's really starting to hurt us a little bit is our uh, lack of coal. I feel like we need to be getting a lot more coal so we stop using up all of my firewood. So we're going to be going ahead and increasing our production with the prospector here. We're also going to reduce the upkeep at the sawmill because we've been using up a lot of my lumber. Essential budgeting is done. Let's go ahead and pass that decree. It does take up two influence points. And yes, it cost me some money, but I, I just feel like it's going to pay for itself ultimately. I mean, I could be wrong on that, but I mean, eventually it certainly will. It seems like a really, really powerful decree. All right, everything else looking pretty good here? I think it's looking pretty good. We could reduce the optimization here, you know, the upkeep for our carpenter's hut and save a bit of lumber that way. And some tools, and that's one of the reasons we've been running low on lumber as of late. Sure, we'll go ahead and do this at least once, so that saves me a little bit more. Though the alternatives, of course, is always to go over here and just get some improved axes and improve our production. And boom, there we go. Now that we've been harvesting any trees as of late, that actually would... Now that I think about it, it'd be probably the big reason. We literally haven't been chopping any trees. No wonder my lumber's going down. It's fine! Who's worried about it? Hey, look how much food we started producing all of a sudden. Dang, dude! That's a lot of food! That's pretty good! How are we doing on jobs? Not enough to assign an extra gatherer, but you know what? If we're doing fine on food, then I'm not even gonna worry about it. Not yet. Not even gonna worry about it yet. We should be A-OK. -okay. Um, anything we are grossly overproducing that I can start to sell? Not really. Uh, for once, we're actually doing fine on coal. That feels great. Still doing fine on our firewood. Could sell off an excess of that. Still looking good on herbs. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, if we can keep selling off the herbs, let's just go ahead and keep doing that. That's another 360 gold. I mean, aggressive use of the dock seems like the way to go. I don't think you could afford to build this before, like, year four or five. But once you got it, I mean, it's good, dude. It's really good. It's doing its job. How's the happiness looking? Really good across the board, actually. Everything's in the uh, high... Well, some low, but mostly high 90s. If not a straight-out 100, this is looking very nice. Wait a minute. Are you saying I have a laborer? No. Do I? <gasps> I do! I have a laborer! How did I get a laborer? I don't know, but somehow I did it. Okay. Well, great. So apparently my people do automatically upgrade somehow. Um, so that's good to know. Hatter, what does this do? Create and distribute exquisite hats to the citizens in the area and make them happy. Oh, even more happiness. That sounds nice. Uh, we could reduce the upkeep a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. Production, expansion, blah, 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 blah. Don't need any of that. How are we doing on workers? Still nothing. Because these people take forever to come of age and we've had no immigration events. For real, like last time I played this is a little test game. I got I got like five people early on for free. It was really nice. It was like really nice. I liked having that, but oh well. Let's go back to the research. What else can we do? Clay pit? Immigration incentive? I mean, this is a way to start getting some more people. I'm a little bit worried about it, though. What if we did field crops? Uh, that only does me good if I have more people to work it, though. What if we did immigration incentive? Start getting people to move in here, and as our population goes up, we increase the gene pool and get new families and stuff. We could then assign them to farmers, and as long as we manage our food carefully, we should be fine. Again, though, anytime you're rapidly increasing your population, you need to be very careful, because that's often the sign that things are about to go horribly wrong. Cult activities. Nothing horrible going on here. I happen to love cults. I form them all the time. Some form a religious cult is spreading in the populace. They do not pose a threat for now, but the church is anxious. Well, if they're free to practice anything, we lose a lot of religious power. Citizens disappear? Nope. Look, I hate to reduce the religion, but it'll start regenerating itself and fixing itself eventually, right? I am not losing two laborers. Freedom of religion in the crown colony. Screw the church. Separation of church and state. Stuff like that. 
This is a new land with new rules. If you can't handle it, well, you're welcome to file a file a petition or something. I don't know. Um, okay, hey, we actually could place down farms. Wait a minute. I thought I hadn't researched this. Allows the plant... Oh! No, we can plant down farms now. What we can't do is plant down flowers, tobacco, cabbage, and carrots. But we can farm some things, I think. Maybe? We can also do orchards and ranch. Hmm. Do we need to buy cows? That's how it works in most of these games. I'm not sure as of yet. Uh, tobacco would be considered to be a laborer luxury. So a small farm of that would actually tide over my laborer and make them happy for a bit. Um, so we know we want to set up crops at some point. The question is, do we do it now or later? I mean, I don't have the laborers for now, so I guess it's kind of irrelevant. What we should do is go here and see if we can... Where's the immigration? Immigration incentive... Oh, wow. All right, five influence points is kind of a lot. We're not going to be able to take advantage of that for a while. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, fine. Homeschooling? An education policy? I mean, I've only got, like, two influence points left, so... Hey, church and state. We were just talking about you. Secular society, blah, blah, blah. Where's homeschooling? It must be under social. Yes. Costs four. Dang it. All right. So that's not going to be a thing. Tax cut, tribute, duties, tariffs. Do, 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 do. I'm just looking to see if there's anything in here that would, like, really help us. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything we can pass that's only going to cost me two points. I wish it said from right here because that would be helpful. What about uh, What about propaganda? Propaganda costs four. Darn it, but it increases loyalty. Yeah, it looks like a lot of these decrees actually are mostly to increase one of your happiness categories if you're falling behind horribly in something or another. Let's go ahead and research the clay pit. Seems like it's probably time to go ahead and do that. Um, the coal mine, I think we don't need... To, you know, we really need to start reducing my... We need to start producing some dang trees again. We're going to go ahead and set you to plant and cut. Don't need to get the improved axes unless you get more wood per tree. Is that a thing? If I increase production, do I get more wood per tree? Or do they just chop down the trees faster, which means it take more time having to plant things down? Now, see, these are the questions that I really need answered, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer to the question. Um, now, we're mostly doing good on a lot of this stuff. I don't really feel like I need more tools. Just trying to think where we would want to do some more upgrades. We could reduce the cost of our carpenter's hut. I think we're still doing fine on leather. Like, we should be producing plenty of leather. That ain't no issue. More happiness won't do me a lot of good. We don't need more family units right now. Could build out a quarry, I suppose. Well, let's go ahead and reduce the upkeep for our iron mine. That'll save me a bit of money and stuff. Still producing more than enough food in order to survive this. And yeah, now we're going to be producing 216 lumber per year. That doesn't feel like a lot. Wow, God, now it's 1,000. Okay. Frick, what changed? Holy crap. <laughs> As I'm watching it, we just quintupled production. That doesn't feel like enough. You heard the man. Pull out all the stops. Boom. Gosh, dang, what the heck happened there? That's amazing. How do I do that with everything? You know, that doesn't seem like enough herbs. All right, you heard our king. He desires more. Uh, flower stone walls, how cute. Small park, yes. We could play some of these, and this would just make people happy. Look how small the radius is on this, though. It's like a very small radius. It feels like that's not large enough to really justify placing down parks in a lot of places. I mean, I could be wrong, but, like, there are other ways to get happiness, right? Yeah. Stone walls, blah, 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 blah. Anything else we care about from beautification? No, not really. What is this? Clay pit. Hello. Where do you play, place down a clay pit? It does not say that it has to be near the water. Now, see, that's weird to me. Because I would have thought that the clay pit should be placed down next to a river or something. Because that is how a lot of games work. It appears that this is not the case, though. We can place it wherever is convenient for me. Which is, like, nice. Don't get me wrong. But, like, yeah. Um, clay pit, huh? Well, I mean, I want it. I guess we could place it over here if we wanted. Though we want to? Sure, I guess. 
Why not? It's a huge freaking building, but why not? Let's just go ahead and do it. I like it. It'll be great. And in fact, as much as I was just talking about how silly things like the parks look, we actually left just enough space to place down a small park over here if we so desire. So, I mean, like, that's not so bad. Yeah, okay. We can start producing a bit. Um, we'll go to the gatherer for now. I mean, that means we have no one here to actually build this thing for a bit, but that's probably fine. Do we have an excess of resources? Yes, we have an excess of firewood. Sell it. Boom. More gold for me. More research. Stone roads allows people to move faster. You know, we've got plenty of stone. I think that makes a lot of sense. Also, that leads to the quarry pool, which means the quarry near an iron or a coal mine would get an extra productivity. Now, I haven't actually built my quarry as of yet. That's still down over here doing nothing, but like someday, that's going to be really awesome. We are using up a lot of coal, and apparently we need more housing. Yay! Let's go ahead and place down another one right over y'all. That'll work. Oh, I can't actually place a park over here. Hang on. Hang on. Muddy work. Get out of here, achievements. I can't see what I'm looking at. Get out of here. You're taking up all my space, steam. Lordy. All right. Um, no, we actually needed to place down a road right along y'all, like so. And that leaves the 4x4 four four space necessary for some parks. Because who wants to live next to a clay pit? I mean, that sounds really unattractive. All right, we can get another miner. Apparently, miners are the ones who work here. Not miners as in children. We haven't managed to find that research yet. I'm hoping it's in here somewhere, though. But, like, literally a miner miner. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll just go ahead and boost productivity by another 10%. Sure, why not? That seems fine. Does take up a pretty good amount of tools and some stone in order to make this work, though. That's kind of a lot. We're going to need to get this quarry going. We're going to go ahead and start building this then. We have some workers now, so I mean, we might as well. And then we'll have a source of stone coming in, and that'll be fine, right? Yeah, this seems good. Seems really good. Um, I don't feel like I need to increase our trading cargo capacity. Trading 200 at a time still seems completely reasonable to me. Now that winter is over, we're going to start producing our coal again. And it seems like we build up just enough of a stockpile to feel comfortable with our coal every year. That's going to change, of course, as we build out more housing, right? So that's a thing we need to keep an eye on. But like, in theory, it seems pretty good. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and build out some roads like this. There we go. Make sure that people can get around. We could beautify the area a little bit. Anyone want to get some beautification? A little bit of beautification in between. We get some stone walls. Nah. Let's be honest. Hedges are way cooler than stone walls between houses, right? I mean, I think so. Not enough gold. And eh, we'll have enough later. I'm sure it'll be fine. We can just sell some more junk. How about the herbs? You got plenty of those? Sell them. Boom. Done. See? Look at that. It's great. All right. We need to get someone working over here. We could reduce the upkeep, which is, again, a lot of lumber. Why does everything take lumber? Okay. The church needs money. Oh, fine. Shush. The church always needs money. They're always asking for tithes. Tithes, tithes, tithes. Let's go ahead and upgrade those axes. So we're producing a pretty good amount. It's reducing the prediction a lot as the trees have to regrow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set back to plant for a little bit since I have a thousand lumber. That does feel like an excess, if anything. 300 clay over here seems pretty good. Not a lot of storage nearby all this stuff. That's actually something I'm a little concerned about. Maybe we should place down a depot somewhere again. Well, that makes sense. Should we go ahead and place down another depot? Maybe we should think about like placing a depot somewhere over here and then having a bunch of farms. There we go. That's not a bad idea. Maybe we should do that. Let's go to our production buildings and place down said depot. It's going to be right over y'all. It'll be glorious. And it's in range, I think, of the clay pit. Mm, if I set it up over here, it's definitely in range of the clay pit. We'll do that for now. Anyway, yeah, there we go. And then we can just start dropping off all the clay. Because we're producing apparently 300 per year. I have no use for the clay. All right, to be clear. Like, I don't know what clay is. I don't know what you do with clay. But... It sounds important, probably, to someone. We have an extra job. I could start making some extra stone. We're producing 269 per year, which is way more than we seem to use as a general rule. So I think one worker over here seems completely fine. I don't think I'm worried about that. Uh, still waiting on this to be done. Blah, blah, blah. Delivery time. Customs house. Nah, I'm not going to increase the upkeep of that. It's just not worth it to me. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. There's the depot up and running. Very good. Let's go ahead and get a hatter. This is going to make everyone around me a little bit happier. There we go. Happiness will go up. Luxury goods for our laborers is down to 50. Unsurprising, given that I literally don't know how to make anything. All right? I don't know how to make any of the stuff that you want. It's, this is unknown to me. 
Uh, whoops, I meant to. Let's go ahead and sell, let's say, 80 of you. And we got, like, 60 of you. Trade you all off. Get some more money. Boom. There we go. Essential goods. Now, this, I think, is a policy we have enough influence to enact. Increases production of gathering shelters, forester huts, fishermen huts, hunting lodges, herbalists, mines, quarries, clothes, tools, and stuff. Basically, literally everything we do. This is just a 10% efficiency boost for literally everything at the cost of a bit of gold per month. Well worth it. Because worse come to worse, I'll just sell off the excess goods and it pays for itself. This is great. I think that's one of the things that I overlook in a lot of these games, right? I, I don't get into trade early enough. But like, for real, trading is good, dude. Trading is really good if you can pull it off. All right, how are we doing on things like tools and stuff? It says we're using up a lot. I think that's just from a couple of different things. But we'll go ahead and get a quick production boost there, just to go ahead and get ourselves a bit more tools per year. Should be fine on that front now, though. Stone's looking good. Iron is looking okay. Coal is building up. Not as fast as I would like, but it is building up. Plenty of firewood. Not producing any lumber for a bit. Plenty of food. Doing fine on herbs and everything else. Yeah, we are solid across the board. We really are. We are good to go. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. If these children would just grow up, I would enjoy a nice little housing boom right about now. Nice little housing boom would feel fantastic, but we're going to have to sit back and wait, which means more jump cuts. Well, I say jump cuts. Actually, real quick, first thing we do is essential goods, and boom. There we go. Okay, now we jump cut. Some people have come of age. All right. You know what I want to do? I want to try setting up some farms. So this general area, anything close to our housing, or sorry, our clothing shop is going to be pretty good for us from a uh, crop perspective. So if I wanted to, we could do something like this. It's not a very large patch, but what I'm thinking we might do is research the ability to make tobacco. Well, I have to actually do this correctly. Hang on, we have to turn on grids because it's so hard to see. There we go. Little thing like this will be fine. Takes up some of the void space. And with this, if I can get the money, we'll go ahead and learn about field crops. I'll start making some tobacco. That will meet the needs of our laborers. And I don't know if in some way it's going to increase the number of laborers we get in the future, because I still have no idea how we got the one that we've got. But we're going to want to be able to deal with them at some point. Crop, next season, can't do anything. But we, by, by default, would be able to grow wheat and oats. I have no idea if certain types of crops are more fertile than others, uh, better food, or anything like that. No clue. We'll find out at some point, I have no doubt. Hi there, Gimli. Oh, you are a cute little boy, aren't you? Look at the town that I'm building for you, Gimglim. Oh, he's so cute. I would ask you to bark, but you've proven that you are really incapable of barking loudly for the camera when on demand. Uh, let's go ahead and set up our crops. We can now start growing some tobacco, which comes at a good time because the luxury goods needs of our laborers is down to 35. And they're really unhappy about it, and I'd really rather they didn't just find an excuse to, like, divorce their families and, like, leave. So, there we go. It'll cost me a fair bit of upkeep. We need to go ahead and assign someone as a farmer. We can produce 329 tobacco per year. That feels like a lot of tobacco for such a tiny patch. I mean, we have to wait until the next growing season, but still. That's like a lot. Like, I, I probably only need, like, I don't know, what, 40 per year or something per laborer? This would probably be a whole round of, like, stuff I can just sell. Sell some tobacco back to the old world. Just like in real life. My gosh, this game's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Something else I meant to do and totally forgot to do was to start building out some stone roads so that people will walk a lot faster. Interesting. Does it actually construct instantaneously? Oh, heck yes, it does. Well, okay. So that's just going to take up a bunch of our stone, but that's fine. If people start walking a lot faster, that's great. Let's go ahead and basically make some road highways, right, like this, so that people can get around to their jobs super fast and stuff like that. That's usually a really good idea. So, it's kind of one of those hidden things, right? Like, it's not an obvious, you've increased your efficiency by 10% kind of deal. But, like, that's basically what you're doing. You're increasing your production by some amount. I don't know what it is. It's hard to quantify. But it's definitely there. I'm going to go ahead and start researching the quarry pool. Not that I necessarily need to make the quarry more efficient or anything. I just feel like, you know, an extra 10%, like, why not? Why not just go ahead and do it? I haven't had to build anything new for a little while. I'll admit that's a little bit sad. I would like to go ahead and have to build new things. When do I get glass? I'd like to start upgrading the houses. I'd like to make them look cool and also be better insulated. Glass. Glass. Glass? Uh-oh. Glass is apparently really far down here. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. There's a lot to do here. Oh, man. Quartz mining, glassworks. It's all the way down here. Oh, man. It's going to take for freaking ever to do anything here. Man, this is going to be great. Can we get a 20 times speed mod, please? That'd be great. One problem I am seeing is that we're starting to get kind of close in our capacity for resources. Eh, I had to build an extra stockpile just down over here, just another one, because, like, who the heck knows, we might need it. Yeah, um, I, may, I, might, I might not be producing enough uh, storage space. You could just place down another one over here, I suppose. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more depots going. I don't know. Anything like that will be important. You never want to find out that you don't have enough space. Oh, God! Got a raging fire! I hope I place down a well. Ah! Okay, hang on. How how far is this? Not close enough. Okay. Well, um, I thought the well might have a slightly better range than that, but I am wrong, and these people are going to pay the price for my hubris. Um, let's go ahead and place down some more wells. I guess? Question mark. Um, let's see. Might as well do something over here. I guess. I'm trying to think about this radius a little bit more intelligently for the future. Could also place down a shrine or something, you know, for people to pray for everyone dying. This is a high priority item, by the way. If you guys have any, like, workers available, we have three of them. Hey, can you go build this, like, quickly? Yeah? No? Maybe? I don't know. I think these guys are all going to lose their houses. I hope nobody dies. That'd be terrible. Raging fire housing shortage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are the houses considered destroyed at this point, or do I just have more families? Because I did literally just build this house. Whoop. What happened? What? What? They, they're fine! Nothing is wrong! Never punished! Everything's completely fine! What are we worried about? Why is everything completely fine, though? For real? Like, I... What? I don't know. Um, but somehow, somehow we got away with that. Okay. I'm gonna place down an extra watch house over there, and maybe an extra shrine, and it'll go, like, over meow. And then we will beautify the area by placing down some little fences or something. And it'll go like this, and like this. And boom. There we go. And we'll also have a little hedge, like this. There we go. And that's gonna look great. We'll have a mix of different beautifications or something. And that way, we don't have to worry about things like security, prayer, or water over here for a while. We'll be completely fine. Some people still homeless. I think that no one's house burned down. We literally just need more homes. All right, go ahead and build yourself another house. You have my blessings. Start a family. Pay taxes. It'll be great. I have researched the pottery workshop. Excellent. Now, pottery workshops with pottery apprentices here make them better if there are other pottery workshops nearby. So, ideally, what we will do is we will place down a pottery workshop and leave enough space for a second one. I'd like to have it close to the clay. Maybe up over here could kind of work for us. Um, pottery workshop. It's not huge, fortunately. So I could actually place like two next to each other over here and that would work. Yeah, yeah, let's let's plan on that. I, I would like to maximize my potential efficiency. So we're gonna do that. Finally, we're gonna have a use for clay. We'll do something with that. That will be another peasant luxury. I still don't really know why I should care about the peasant luxuries here, because aside from making them happy, if you have an excess, it just seems inefficient. But they at least sell for a pretty hefty amount of money, so I'll still call that at least a little bit of a win. Oh, pirate traders. Goody. Shady stuff. I like it. An independent trader has arrived. Definitely not affiliated with any of the guilds. Judging by the looks of their crew, they are independent indeed, but more likely pirates as well. Do we want to send them away, gain safety and loyalty? Do we want to gain a frick ton of money and lose some roots and tools? Uh, I guess I'll just, I don't, mm, that is a lot of money, I'll give it that, but like, ee, can you really put a price on safety? I mean, yeah, you totally can, and, and we do, we do that all the time, but that's beside the point. Uh, crops, we are about to harvest up a whole bunch of tobacco, a bunch of wacky tobacco, which is gonna make my laborers happy. And by the way, I've got two of them now! How do I have two of them now? I don't know, but we have two of them now. Yay! I would like to learn how to make apiaries. I can't do anything with it for a while, really, but like, yeah, let's do it, because then I'll be able to learn how to make honey as a food item, which can be nice, though we're not having any issues on food, frankly, if anything, we're grossly overproducing and causing storage issues here, but also wax, which I have to imagine at some point will allow me to build a chandlery. And chandlers are fun, because uh, we get candles, and I'll bet you it's a luxury somewhere. Yep, it's a luxury for laborers. 
Do we need it right now? Nope, but someday we're gonna need it. Monthly used, two. Are you, okay, we'll wait one more month and see, but if you guys consume one freaking luxury per month, I'm gonna be flabbergasted. Absolutely flabbergasted. A king's ransom, oh, thank you. All right, lose some leather and lumber. Good thing I don't have any problems with either of those, right? Oh, let's go ahead and start chopping down some more trees, keep this area going. Um, I wish there was a better way to maintain this plant and cut to be more sustainable, so I didn't feel the need to micromanage it quite so much. That would be that would be very nice, but I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. Out of curiosity though, how much does tobacco sell for? Two, contrast that with clothes which sell for three, and take very little input. I mean, yeah, tobacco doesn't sell like as good as some things, but it sells pretty good for very little effort. I'll call this a win. Absolutely. We can just we can just set up massive tobacco farms. That'd be a way to lo make a load of money. I got achievements! I'm an economist and I'm a trader. Having to build out more houses once again. Uh, convict ship arrives. Well, uh, oh boy. Um. Oh, I mean, I don't know. Um. I hate losing all the safety, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Which of course means that yeah, we need to go ahead and build out more houses. Oh God, we're up to 21 fam. Frick me. <laughs> Maybe a slight error in doing that. Um, I was gonna say, we're kind of sitting on a ticking time bomb right now. You see this right here? You see that we have seven young people and 20 children? I mean, we went through all the people who were previously young, and uh, we are probably, over the course of the next two or three years, going to be seeing a really rapid population boom toward adulthood, and more families getting started, which is... Um, a little bit on the concerning side, if I'm honest. A little bit on the concerning side. But we'll see. We'll see how we do. Why am I so stinking good at producing... Whoop. No, oh, don't do that. Why am I so stinking good at producing clothes? I don't know, but I'm like really good at it, dude. I'm like a pro. I'm a pro clother, man. I haven't even been upgrading this darn thing yet. Let's go ahead and insulate these houses. Because, of course, we're using up more of our delicious coal and stuff as we do this. Boom, boom, boom. And get you insulated as well. And you insulated as well. Because I forgot a whole bunch of you. And then, boom. There we go. Okay. Hey, we're making a lot of gold now, by the way. We're making, like, 600 per month, and that's not including, like, all the stuff that I'm selling. So, like, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and get another farmer set up. I wanted to start producing some flowers over here, because I figured a little bit of flowers is, like, yet another luxury good, and people would start consuming less furniture and clothes and stuff. I don't know. We now have a whole bunch of workers all of a sudden, though. What the heck? Okay. Um, we may want to consider expanding some of the existing production chains. Maybe. I mean, I can start getting stuff like apiaries going. What are some of the other options here? Basic budgeting, uh, reduces the upkeep of apiaries, carpenter huts, pottery workshops, and clay pits. We do have those, but I, I feel like the other, the other essential budgeting we had before was better. Cooperation, if a ranch is near a field you get some extra production. Good to know that that's a thing. Very good to know. Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like maybe we do need to start expanding, like, let's say, another Forester and stuff. I mean, it may be overkill, but, like, if it lets me start getting some extra lumber and then I can set up maybe another coal mine and stuff, like, all of that seems really good. I feel like I need a lot of the basics still before I start getting too greedy and over-expanding into new stuff. So, all right. Coal mine time. Got to place you closer to the mountain for this. 91%. Goodness gracious. I thought it didn't matter, frankly, where these were placed, but apparently I am wrong. Um, that said, I think I'll just accept the 91% efficiency and place you over here. Just so I have a little bit more space efficiency, you know? That's probably the better thing to do. There we go, go ahead and get you set up, and then get you set up over here, and boom, okay. So we'll get ourselves another coal mine, which is just like crazy to me, but we like we need a lot of coal. We are always using up a lot of coal. We have 20 families. We had 21, so I'm not sure what changed there. Maybe one of the convicts immediately left, or something like that. Is that an option? Is that a thing you're allowed to do? It might be a thing he's allowed to do, I have no idea. Um, we could set up some additional farms. That could be kind of fun. What if we did that? We set up a little farm over here. And then maybe a nice, beautiful, gigantic orchard. Has to be a certain size, it seems. This seems all right. Sure, we'll go ahead and start taking advantage of the fact that we do have fertile soil over here. Not that I need more food, I remind you, but, like, it, it can't be bad to have, like, some other options. 
more nutritional variety and all that, you know? Actually, if you wanted to start getting wheat, since I'm not worried about food, I know that I can start getting distilleries up and running, making use of said wheat. That could be good. And we'll get an apple uh, orchard up and running. Interestingly, it looks like it takes one coin per one food. I don't know how good of, like, a ratio that would be considered to be. I mean, if we take a look over here, for example, uh, the gatherer's shelter actually costs me no gold to upkeep and produces 2,500 food. So, like... Maybe we can do something with those apples later, but that feels like a really bad trade-off. That feels expensive for not a lot of gain. I might be wrong. I am very much open to being wrong, but you guys gotta show me how I'm wrong, because my instinct is that I'm right. And I usually am, so that's not me being proud or anything. That's just that's just a fact. I usually am right about these things. Anyways, who? All right, so we got ourselves an extra one of these mines. Uh, we are going to assign an extra carrier, a couple miners, a couple more farmers. That leaves me with two more people around for building. We are already building out another house. We're going to go ahead and just spend my gold to get this sucker upgraded. And let's just go ahead and stop paying these people as much. And boom, there we go. Reduce those upkeeps. Yeah, I mean, we got lots of money to sit with. It's really... The game's pacing has changed completely now that I can just, like, make a freaking load of money. And that's, this isn't even my final form. This is just selling, like, basic, easy goods. I'm sure there's a lot better stuff we'll be able to do later. But, like, you get the idea. We seem to be making a lot more progress over here all of a sudden. Hey, let's place down a small park. Why? I don't know. Parks are cool. They look nice. It's a great place to take your kids for a special outing with Dad because he never gets to see the kids anymore and Mom's tired and really needs a nap. So you take him down to the little small park and let him run around and hurt himself, and he learns valuable lessons because it builds character. I'm speaking from experience. This is how this works. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, but we've definitely made progress. Like, we're growing rap- Oh, God! Okay, we have a tornado on the way. I don't know what this means. We will find out at the beginning of the next episode. <laughs> take care, everybody. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.